you guys, I'm Tammy J and welcome to my YouTube channel. Now today I really would like to talk about myself and let you guys know a little bit of background with me as far as dating, what I've been through, the mistakes I've done made. But there's going to be two parts to this video. So the first part that I want to tell you about me is my experience dating late in life after my 40s into my 50s. You know, the earlier part, the later part of my 40s, you know, I was in a relationship with someone and didn't work out. You know, it was a relationship that I had uh, in my 40s for nine years with someone. And come to find out, spending nine years with that person, I really truly didn't know who this person was. When I met them, you know, we hit it off real good. And then I think less than a year, we were living together in a full-fledged relationship. So, you know, at that time, I was raising my boys. And so when you're raising boys and you're in a new relationship, you could kind of clash a little bit because me and this person got along really good. So to make a long story short, um, that person really truly did not love me the way I thought that they loved me during that nine years. Yes, they had another agenda. So that hurt. So my boys were grown by this time. So I decided this to take a move. They were on their own and just to get myself together. And it still was a long road. I still was dating different p people, not realizing that still I was getting into things with my eyes closed, just jumping into it because I wanted to be loved so bad. You know, I wanted that person to really love me. I was going about it the wrong way. Guess what I was doing? Right off meeting them, having sex. That was my way of someone loving me if I would give them that or if they would make love to me. I felt like if I didn't do that, then maybe they wouldn't love me. You know, so you hop and have sex with someone right in the beginning, before you get to know them, I learned down the line, that's just not a good idea. But where did I learn these tendencies from? Where did I get it from? How did I end up where I was at? That's what I was asking myself. Why was I so promiscuous? Why was I, when I first meet someone, just go ahead and have sex with them? Because that's what I knew. That's what I was thinking. I was thinking that's the only way that somebody's going to love me if I, if I have sex with them. But down the line, now in my life, I realized that I needed to do things different. And then I realized, wow, here I am. And I'm still single. And nobody loves me. Can find anybody who want to be serious with me. And I figured out why. It's not because of me. I'm a great person. I know I am. But if I didn't learn to love myself for me, then how do I expect for someone else to love me if I do not love myself? Sorry for getting emotional. But when I learned to love me and to love myself, that's when I was able to be happy and happy alone. I'm so happy now. So now that I'm happy and I know what I want, someone could come into my life and know that I'm happy and I love myself and I'm not going to accept less anymore. So right now, I am letting you guys know if this is you, if you abuse alcohol, if for any reason you feel like that you're not worth it, then take a look at your life and see where what it is that you need to change. Take some time to yourself. Don't jump into one relationship and jump into another because that could be the whole reason why you're not finding that one that you can be with. Now, I'm not an expert on this, as I tell you guys before, but dating later in, in life is getting easier. And that's because I know who I am. I know I love myself. 
And back then, I didn't love myself. I was accepting anything anyone threw my way. I was letting people treat me any kind of way, talk to me any kind of way, and make me feel small, begging someone to be with me. You know, you never should have to beg someone to be with you. If someone wants to be with you, they're going to be with you. If somebody's going to make time for you, they'll make time for you. They wouldn't make up all these excuses for the reasons why they they wouldn't be with you. If somebody generally, generally do love you, they're going to be with you, regardless of how busy they are, how many jobs they got, or anything. I'm a firm believer that that person would want to be with you. Now, I just wanted to touch on that, where, where I, I, I come from and where I'm at now. I genuinely do love myself. And the next person that I am with, they're going to love me like I love myself. And if, I, if they can't give me that, then I don't need them. But in this second half of our life, you guys, we can find love. It's just that we got to keep our eyes open, watch out for those red flags, and don't let anyone treat you less than you deserve to be treated. Now, there's going to be a part two to this video. And part two, I'm going to let you know a little bit about me and to where I think the reasons why I was so insecure, why I went down this road that I went to get to now. But I would like to share that with you guys in part two. Thank you so much for coming to listen to what I have to say today on my YouTube channel. You guys, I really do hope that you get something from this. It can help you because you're worth it. You're worth getting to know who you are and you do not need to let anyone treat you any kind of way because when you know better, you do better. When you feel good about yourself and you love yourself, you'll make better choices into who your partner is. I, firm, I firmly believe that. It's going to happen for us in our second half of our life while we're dating. But thank you so much for coming to my channel today, listening to what I have to say. Please hit that subscribe, smash that like, and also hit the notification bell. That way, when I upload videos, you guys will be able to see my videos. Thank you.